This started out to be a story about how Jackson is not a chimera. I get that like three times a day. Is Jackson a chimera? No. The thinking seems to be, well, Jackson can express both canima and werewolf features and abilities, so he is just like those fake creatures created by the Dread Doctors. Watch this. I had planned this whole long-winded explanation of the difference between genetic chimeras and crossbreeding, but then I realized there is a much simpler way to explain this. None of the creatures that you see before Season 5 on Teen Wolf has a damn thing to do with genetics. Okay? The real creatures of Teen Wolf have no special genetic components. Their abilities are 100% soul and spark. When an alpha bites someone, they transfer spark. It's not some gene-altering infection. It is a spark of energy that attaches to the person's soul and changes them. That's partly why how the werewolf feels can alter the bite's effects, as we saw with Jackson. Instead of turning into a werewolf, he turned into a reflection of his own inner turmoil. And once he resolved that inner turmoil, he transformed into a werewolf. But the damage done to his spark initially doesn't just go away. I can't, I can't change completely, but it's, it's kind of like having a Tiptronic transmission. Taking an innocent life takes something from you as well. Bit of your soul darkening you. It's like when a werewolf gets blue eyes from killing someone. Dimming the once brilliant golden yellow to a cold steel blue. I can't, I can't change completely, but kind of like having a Tiptronic transmission. That full body canima transformation will always remain a part of Jackson's okay. spark. The damage is done, so he keeps his tail oh, and his venom. <laughs> now people ask me if I've talked to Jeff about this spark versus genetics thing. I have not directly. I've always just known this, like I know water is wet. But for those folks who ask, I did dig back into my archives to find out where my absolute certainty on this topic comes from. How did it form? Jeff actually did address this directly in an MTV Tumblr interview back in 2013. Y'all remember Tumblr? Yeah, it's apparently still a thing. Anyway, Jeff said, I try to stay away from talk of genetics. It is mystical rather than scientific. Science did not enter into Teen Wolf until the Dread Doctor showed up in Season 5. Red Doctor's creations are fake, and one of the signs that they were fake versions of the real thing is that they depended on the genetic components of the host to carry grafted-on fake abilities.